Hey, welcome back to SSX3. It is time for the all-peak race from the very top of Peak 3 down to the very bottom of Peak 1 in Metro City. I am going to be substituting for DJ Atomica here, but we are going to listen to the copyrighted soundtrack because I don't care about the money, and it's not SSX3 without the music. So if you enjoy this, please do me a favor and check out all the other videos where I avoided the copyrighted music. It would help me out a lot. But I hope that you enjoy the game as it's intended to be. So how about we kick things off with Autopilot Off. Have fun. of bales and slop there, but that song is awesome. Definitely one of the highlights of this game's soundtrack that was also featured in NHL 2004. Some good stuff, man. I like Autopilot Off. No longer a band. But they were cool for the time being. Featured in a lot of video games. I think that song was also in 1080 Avalanche, if I'm not mistaken. Or maybe I'm confusing it with NHL 2004, which it definitely was in that game. I know that much. Well, yep, three seconds behind. We will make up for it down at the lower tracks, the easier ones. Peak one, we're going to fly through that. Keep in mind, our stats are all boosted, so we're going to um, overshoot some of the stuff down in peak one. But this backcountry business... Peak 3 is the only bit of it we're going to see as we come up to the Gravitude Racetrack here. How about to add to the mix The Bitter End by Placebo. I've been talking about it. I love that song. Here we go.
a song that is, man. The way that that ending just pounds and pounds at you. I like it. It captures the mood. Placebo also responsible for the album Black Market Music, which features a song called Special K. It's also a good placebo track. We won't be listening to it here because it was not featured in SSX3. Still four seconds behind. Tasty indeed. So now we are effectively on peak two in this sunset ambiance. Heading towards Ruthless Ridge Racetrack. Missing all the rails in the process. Good stuff. The playing should get much better from here because Peak 3 is obviously the most difficult. Peak 2 is still a little bit challenging, but uh, we're going to clean it up a little bit. And of course, we've got the Intimidator after Ruthless Ridge. If you remember correctly, the layout of the tracks. So here it is, the race start event for Ruthless Ridge. What do we want to listen to now? How about Play It Loud by MXPX? Sounds like a good one to me. Let's do it. takes you back, doesn't it? I still remember my older sister sitting at the computer downloading music and even going with her to the local mall to a store called FYE. I don't think they're around anymore, but we used to buy a lot of CDs from there. She got into that pop punk scene before I did. 
We are one second, 17 milliseconds. Ahead. Heading to the Intimidator Race, our favorite racetrack. We're gonna be sure to play some good music for that one. One of this game's iconic tunes. A song that was introduced to many people through this game. It's not exactly pop punk, but speaking of the pop punk stuff, that's where I got my first foray into music, I suppose. When I first started branching out, reaching for things on my own, seeing what I liked and what I didn't like, the likes of Offspring and Green Day caught my ears. And that was good, but here we are at the Intimidator race event. How about a song from SSX3 that really got everybody's attention? Jerk it out by the Caesars. It's a good one. Have fun with it. Shame about that tree at the end. But, jerk it out by the Caesars, what a song that is, dude. It makes me happy. I get out of my chair and start dancing every time. And I am not ashamed, because it makes me happy. And it takes me back, and what more do you need than that? Well, that was a pretty good performance of the Intimidator. We hit the out of bounds sign at the end, swinging onto that right hand side of the pine trees. It was very good, picked up some money along the way that we did not pick up during the actual race event itself. And that effectively completes peak two. So we are now heading back to the very beginning, peak one. One second, 45 milliseconds ahead. Not too bad, could be better. 
but that performance in the Intimidator really helped us out. Back to the very beginning, the very first lodge. It kind of feels good to be back. Grabbing money that we never grabbed along the way, too. So we've listened to some pop punk. We've listened to Placebo, who you could maybe classify as emo. There were a few other tracks in this game that could be classified under the branch of emo music. There was Stare at the Sun by Thrice and Way Away by Yellow Card. Among a numerous amount of other good music and remixes. But here as we approach the Peak 1 Snow Jam Race event, once again, how about some Yellow Card? song at all now three minutes 17 seconds ahead unless that's only three seconds 17 milliseconds i'm still not quite sure but either way we are going to get to the bottom of metro city way ahead of the 30 minute time limit and it's going to be cool so we've listened to some pop punk we've listened to some general rock music but there's far more to the ssx3 library than just that if that's not your cup of tea the game also came with a number of electronica remixes. Things like Queens of the Stone Age and Red Hot Chili Peppers were remixed with a techno electronica type vibe. There was some hip hop remixed. And even some really old classic stuff. So for the final race, 
How about we listen to some of that stuff? Here's the Jason Nevins remix, Rockstar. peak race is now complete i thank you for hanging out with me Fifty thousand cash for that and a cheat character the unknown rider has been unlocked so with that fifty thousand, we can maybe cap out the stats finally from all the previous videos where we played without music we will go to the green station lodge and see what that 50,000 can buy us in terms of attributes. We still haven't messed with the gear. As far as the remaining trick modes, I am not going to cover it because I attempted it and I'm so terrible at them. The peak three trick mode freestyle is very difficult and I just can't do it anymore. <laughs> so not quite maxed out, but close enough. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I will see you around. Take care.